Hey everybody, Laser Wizard here. I had a few people uh, ask me about the probing command I was using in my last video when I was doing my aluminum plates. So I figured I'd do a video on it. And here it is, just to begin with, y'all can pause your screens. But I have my XY probe, that's for my quarter inch diameter probe bit. But then <clears throat> I also wrote an additional one so I could just use my eighth inch bit to probe it. But I've copied and pasted this macro into a notepad document here just to make it easier to read. And I put some comments here. And so in UGS, they do have a probing plugin that is actually very convenient. Um, you just have to kind of learn it. But when I was using Candle, I wrote this macro for myself and I just copied it over to UGS before I learned the probing command in there. But it, I believe it's very important and helpful to understand the G-code. So I'm going line by line. So G91, that changes modes to incremental positioning. So what I have to do, I just have to get my uh, probing bit in kind of in the general area. And then from that point, going to change it to incremental positioning and the X minus 10 means it's going to move 10 millimeters to the left and then the next line is Z minus 7 so after moving 10 millimeters to the left it's going to go down 7 and then my third line of code is the probing command G38.2 that means probe towards workpiece and the next part in that code signifies in which direction and how far until it errors out. So I jog 10 millimeters over, I jog 7 down, and then I jog 10 back towards X positive at a feed rate of 100 millimeters a minute. And the moment that that circuit closes on our pro pin, then it just goes right to the next line. And the next line, my line of code is G92. G92 means set current position. So I set it to X equals negative 3.17. It's a quarter inch diameter bit. So in millimeters, half that diameter is about 3.17. So as soon as it sets the position, then it jogs negative two millimeters to the left, just to jog away. And then I jog down or towards me in the Y by 10 millimeters. I jog over in the X 10 millimeters and then the next line is the next probe command. Same one G38.2 but this time we're going towards Y positive 10 millimeters. Feed rate of 100. And as soon as we touch G92 set current position Y negative 3.17 and then as soon as we have that position set, we're going to jog away from the surface 2 millimeters, and then jog Z up by 5 millimeters. And I'm actually going to have to change that. I had a trouble saving that last time. I jog down by 7, I should jog back up by 7. And then after it's been jogged up, G90 reverts back to absolute positioning, and I tell it, go to X zero zero and this way I can confirm visually that it set the correct X and Y zero points so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that just real quick um, for me I had to make this special little probe bit um, you may not need something like this um, and it's not the best bit anyway um, Reason being was I was already having a short between my rails. Well, I have a continuity from the rails to the spindle and the armature, which is a good thing. You want it all grounded, but that was messing with my probing. It's not so much an issue now since I've got this wooden wasteboard taped down. It insulates the aluminum from the rest of the circuit, but I'm still going to use it. And for that, I need my half inch ER20 collet. So, I'm going to go ahead and install it, and we'll see how that probing command works. 
All right, we're gonna stick our collet in the collet nut. Stick our probe in it. And for the probe, I usually, I just tighten it by hand. It doesn't need to be German spec. And so for this part of the operation, I just have to jog by hand and get it close. Okay, getting closer. I keep decreasing the step size amount and I'm gonna leave it there because I know it's gonna well hold on let's go yeah from right there and I think we're actually good on the X and the Y Very important step, don't forget to uh, actually connect the probe. But luckily a good habit I've developed is to always have my finger on the e-stop because you never know when a wire comes loose. Okay, I'm going to hit the XY probe macro. There's the X. There's the Y. And there we go. And it jogged above the XY0. There's really not much to it. And the beauty of it is you can do a lot more with your macros. Um, I mean, whatever you can come up with. And I'm still learning myself. And I'm hoping I can figure out if it's going to be possible to do math within the macros. Maybe some of y'all can help me out. If UGS and Gerbil can do math, for example, finding the center of a hole. So you could probe, you know, one side, then the other, and set the zero point to be in the middle. That I'll have to look into. But this is how I probe X, Y. Z I still do with the paper, but it's just as easy to probe the Z with the same probing uh, commands. Obviously, you're just going to be going down in the Z. Um, I do recommend you all explore. If you're using UGS, try out those plugins. They, they work for me. You just have to figure out how to set all the proper values and offsets. And, and always run everything up in the air way above your piece. And, and I like to just take the probe and the pin and I hold it in my hand and I touch it myself to simulate the probing. Just to ensure that the behavior follows what I expect it to be before obviously crashing machine um, a little tiny benefit which wasn't really planned on this probe that I made but it's not a solid probe it's actually just a tube so even if it were to crash this would start bending and like I said I usually keep my fingers on the e-stop so I should not put too much strain on all the bolts, the bearings, the ball screws. That's why I kind of try not to, you know, probe with the Z. It's just a little nerve wracking for me. I just, I'm still building up confidence with this. But I hope this has been a help for y'all. Let me know any other questions you have about what I've done or what I'm doing or what you'd like me to do. And I'd be very happy to in my spare time, help you all out. Thank you again for your time and take care.